Oh look, there's one extra piece and I just don't know where I'd fit it. Oh yeah. There are lots of ways to cook a steak. I'm gonna share with you four or five of my favorite tips and tricks to make sure your steak comes out absolutely perfect. First of all, you've got to select the right steak to cook. So you want a nice tender piece of meat because you're going to cook it quite quickly. I've got some ribeye or scotch fillet in front of me here. This one is full of flavor. It's my favorite muscle in the entire steer. The other thing to consider is how much marbling is there running right through the steak. Because if you see all these little flecks of white, it's going to be really rich and delicious. Now, of course, if you like a leaner steak, you might go for something more like a fillet, or you can look for one that has slightly less marbling. All right, so you've got to have a red hot pan. So this one's been on for about two or three minutes on medium. Now I crank it all the way to full because I am ready to throw my steaks into that pan. Season it generously. Of course, we can't season the inside of the steak. We can only season the outside, so you gotta be nice and generous. When you know that pan is roasting hot, pick it up. Salt side down. You wanna hear that sear. Now you'll notice I didn't add any oil, and that's because this steak's nicely marbled, and it also is a scotch fillet, which has that little nugget of fat that I just showed you, so that's gonna start to render down. Once you throw it in the pan, be patient, just leave it. If you want to do anything, you can just gently push it down into that pan to make sure that you've got a good contact with the steak and the pan. Give it maybe two minutes before you even touch it and then we're just going to turn it over, give it a couple of minutes on the other side and that's it. Now, when we're talking doneness, of course you can cook it blue, rare, medium rare, medium, medium well or well done. Each increment is about a minute from each other, right? So if you're gonna cook it blue, you're literally in 30 seconds on either side of that steak and that's it. If you're cooking it medium rare, which is I think how most people like their steak, you're probably about two to three minutes on either side. And then if you wanna go up a doneness to medium or medium well, give it an extra 60 seconds. So let me turn this steak. See how we've already got that gorgeous golden brown? Perfect. The other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add the butter to the pan and then we're gonna baste the steak in the butter. So you can see as soon as that butter hits the pan, it starts to sizzle pretty furiously, right? But you don't wanna burn it. You can always tilt your pan to one side and then scoop up that butter and spoon it straight over the top of your steak. That smells pretty special. When butter turns brown, the milk solids are actually caramelized and it gives it a really lovely nutty flavor. All right, it's had a couple of minutes on either side. Let's have a little peek at the bottom. Then you pick up your pan, you bring it over here to a little roasting rack with the rack in, and you remove your steak and you allow it to rest. Take a little bit of that butter, I'm going to use about half and spoon that over the steak and that's just going to continue to season it. The other half I put back into the pan because I'm going to take some shallots and some garlic and saute those. As soon as those shallots and garlic become soft and it only takes a minute, then you can add your veg. That around, season that with some salt and some pepper. A lot of people tell you to slice on a bias. I'm not one of those people because the grain of the steak runs straight through it. If you stood them all up, that becomes the primal. So when you cut the steak, the grain runs straight through. Cut directly through the steak like that. It eats much more tender. If I cut that on a bias, it's going to eat a little tougher. You can see you've got that beautiful pink right there in the steak. Perfectly seasoned, perfectly juicy. The flavor of that steak speaks for itself. Serve it with some mashed potatoes and you have a lot of happy people around you. Enjoy.